Hello everyone and happy holidays. Today sparks December which means Christmas jumpers are on and hopefully Christmas themed board games are hitting the table. Well let's go through five top Christmassy themed games that are going to be hitting my table over the month of December leading up to that big day. Let's jump into the list with number five. Number five is an advent calendar. This is the new one. I've not played this advent calendar. This is the Exit the Game one for this year. This wonderful golden book. But last year, me and my wife had a lot of fun. Each day, opening up a door of the sort of ad Exit advent calendar. That one was themed around like a snowy mountain, a yeti, that sort of thing. And each door has its own daily puzzle for you to work out and a sort of little puzzle sometimes with the box, sometimes just the bits in that doorway. That was a lot of fun. And what's more Christmassy to start this list off than an advent calendar? Like I said, I can't necessarily recommend this one, but last year's one, which is still available, well, that was a lot of fun. So advent calendars from Exit the Game, that is a great start for the list. Number four, everyone dreams of a white Christmas and what's more snowy than ice in ice cool. It's that sort of dexterity fun that you expect at Christmas, that little family fun, but that sort of cold theming, the ice cool high school where you're flicking these penguins around. It just fits so perfectly, you know, with that sort of uh, Pingu sort of uh, igloo school ice theming. It just it feels Christmassy when you're playing it at Christmas. Everyone sort of wearing their Christmas jumpers and flicking these penguins around. It's a lot of fun and it feels at least Christmassy. So ice cool one or two or one and two where you smash them together to create an even bigger map to either race around or just run away from each other. Ice Call is fantastic at Christmas. At number three is a ticket to ride, which is again all snowy and Christmassy themed, and that is Nordic countries. Now we have a sort of running joke in this household because I once managed to block a massive point scoring route with only one train and that didn't go down too well. But the Nordic countries map is brilliant for small player counts because it plays with like only up to three, I think it is. Like it works perfectly at that low player count of two or three players. It's got purple trains which aren't in the normal sort of ticket to ride or ticket to ride Europe. So some people like that, but it's even got some sort of little details on the board that just make it feel Christmassy, including a certain someone and his sleigh hidden in there somewhere as well. Of all games, Ticket to Ride is another family weight sort of fun game, perfect for Christmas in terms of gameplay, and the Nordic countries just makes it feel a little more Christmassy as well. At number two is the fight between Santa and Krampus in Dice Throne. Santa versus Krampus. It's its own two player, two character box, but you could use those against some of the other characters from different seasons and even the Marvel characters if you really wanted. But it's the ideal thing at Christmas. You can have, in that case, any of the other characters fighting against Krampus to save Christmas, or you can just have Santa versus Krampus. You have the different sort of bringing joy and then the sort of non-joy elements. Um, you've got uh, eggnog and different things like that and coal as some of their sort of abilities and tokens that they can get. It's just, it's a lot of fun with the Christmassy theme and these two characters make it scream Christmas as you're literally fighting, if you're the Santa player, to save Christmas almost. So what more do you want than to save Santa of this sort of holiday season? And Dice Throne is a great two player game, so it, it just makes sense to have it on this list. 
And number one for me is Winter Carcassonne. It was one of those games that was on my bucket list to own. I finally got it in the collection about a year or something ago and really enjoyed having it to play at this time of the year because it's just snowy filled, it's got loads of little details, little animals walking through the snow and then there's like little gingerbread um, bits where that's sort of like the micro expansion that you can do things with. It's Christmassy themed Carcassonne. Carcassonne, again, another family theming, uh, family weight sort of game. Perfect for Christmas. And you throw on top that sort of snowy theme, what more can you possibly want? Well, maybe a frozen river expansion to go through the middle, like you normally get in Carcassonne, which you don't have in that. But for a, just a quick, fun, tile placement game that screams snowy white Christmas, well, Winter Carcassonne ticks the box for me. A few honourable mentions, there is a Christmas edition of Don't Get Got. Don't Get Got is a fun little game where you have like a little wallet of secret missions that you've got to do with throughout the day. Normally they're sort of just general related, but these ones are a bit more Christmassy-fied, you know, something to do with a mince pie or whatever, you know, trying to offer someone uh, a mince pie and if they take it, don't get got, ha, that was one of my tasks. Little silly things like that you can do throughout the day. It doesn't have to be in a condensed, or you don't want it in condensed time. You want to give them their missions early on. So that's a bit of a fun twist on the regular don't get got. You've also got Letters to Santa, a game I really want to own because it's effectively a love letter game, just reskinned with uh, Santa Claus. Really want that, wish I had that in the collection. And one final, sort of honourable mention if you really like Welcome To, well there is a winter map pack and that was just fun where you've got sort of lights that hung up. I'm going to be looking to try and get that one back to the table probably one final time before that leaves the collection over the Christmas period. Let me know what is your sort of top Christmas game. Is it sort of a bit like Die Hard where some people will question is it a wintry Christmas themed game or is it just something that screams Christmas at you? Let us know in the comments section below and happy holidays. Thank you very much for watching the video. There are other videos on the channel you can watch. There's one here and one here and you can even subscribe to stay up to date with stuff. That would be cool. Thank you very much.